Hi, thank you for watching the next installment of my organic chemistry series. Today I'm going to be talking about Grignard reagents and how we turn aldehydes and ketones, or formaldehydes as well, into first, second, and third degree alcohols using Grignard reagent. I'm going to go over the basic reaction and we're going to talk about the mechanism involved. So let's go to the marker board. And first, Let's um, distinguish the difference between formaldehyde, higher level aldehydes, and ketones. Formaldehydes, or formaldehyde, has the basic structure, a carbonyl group here with two hydrogens. Higher level aldehydes have almost the same structure, hydrogen here, but it has a carbon species here. Now this variable R prime could be, let's say, a methyl group. It could be an ethyl group, propyl, any, any carbon group. It could even be like a, a phenyl ring. Any carbon group. This is a higher order aldehyde. Now the ketone is almost the same probably guessed it, there's just another carbon species or variable group here. I put R prime 2. Let me move the marker board a little closer. It becomes invisible. Um, so essentially we're going to turn these three compounds using the Grignard reagent into alcohols. And the basic reaction or the basic formula for that is as follows. Notice I left these two bonds blank because it could be formaldehyde, aldehyde, or ketone. This is a variable. We're going to use an ether in the reaction, a acid, protonated water here, and a negative halide of the same that we're using here. And from the, I don't apologize for the space, I'll write it here. We're going to get R. All right, plus two. So this is the basic reaction of it. Now the mechanism, as I'll show you, is a little bit easier to understand because if you just look at the reaction, you don't know where the nucleophilic attack happened, what happened, and why it formed. But let me draw the electrons here. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have an electron attack from the carbon species here in the manganese halide solution. And it's going to attack here in the carbonyl carbon. What that's going to do is it's going to cause an electron shift onto the oxygen, forming this. Plus, remember the, the H3O that we added before. And negative. All right, so what that's going to do is one of the, this oxygen is more negative than it should be. So there's going to be an electron that bounces over to this H3O. This hydrogen is going to become disassociated. And what's going to happen in the end is you're going to form a water molecule because this hydrogen is going to come off of this. You're going to have H2O, obviously. And what you're going to form from that here, oxygen is stable. It's going to, the oxygen that lost the electron is going to form a bond with that dissociated hydrogen, forming the alcohol here. And from there, you're going to have the standby products or you know, byproducts of the water plus magnesium by halide here. And essentially that's how it's formed for every every situation, the formaldehyde, the higher level aldehydes, and the ketones. But as you can see, the formaldehyde is going to form a primary alcohol. And I'll show you why. 
I'm not going to go over the reaction or the mechanism for each one. It'll take a little while. But as you can see, I have my formaldehyde here. And what's going to happen, obviously, is when reaction happens, I'm going to lose the, this is going to be an electron that bounces over to the oxygen, just like before with the, pro, uh, the H3O, the hydrogen is going to become dissociated from it, bounce over to here, and it's going to form this. So this is a primary alcohol. Why is it primary al alcohol? Because this carbon, remember we talked in the last organic series about alcohols, whether the carbon that the hydroxyl group is attached to is attached to one, two, th or three other carbon groups. In this case, it's only attached to one other carbon group, so it's a primary alcohol. As you can see, if this was a higher level aldehyde, I would have this reaction here, along with the species here, and this would be a second or a second degree alcohol. So as you can see in a ketone, the same situation would apply. And the species is going to attach here, so I'm going to have R double prime, C, R, R prime, and my hydroxyl. This is the tertiary alcohol. So Grignard reagent is essentially used for turning formaldehydes, aldehydes, and ketones into alcohols. Now, next time, we're going to talk about ester reactions. And I didn't talk about the, um, the, the reaction speeds, but ketones form alcohols faster than aldehydes, and they form alcohols faster than formaldehydes. So the order of reactivity goes ketone, aldehyde, And in the next video, we're going to talk about turning esters into ketones and then using Grignard reagents to form uh, tertiary alcohols. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, write me back.